incredible amounts of snowfall falling in the Sierras. This is out by the Sierras, just west of Lake Tahoe. We're looking at some of the ski areas there in the distance, ski runs I should say, but beautiful vantage point there on the Ambient Weather Network. So heavy snowfall continues in the Sierras. For this week, another four feet will be possible in parts of that mountain range. And as you look from Reno toward the mountain range, looking at a beautiful vantage point there. So beautiful stuff. Heavy snowfall, that's one topic. Heavy rainfall is the other. And you can probably guess where most of that action is over the West. That's what we're talking about in today's Daily Shower. We'll hit on the weather headlines that you need to be aware of, not only this week, but also next week. If you like the format of these non-hype, just heads up kind of videos, please hit subscribe, like, leave feedback if you'd like to see something else introduced. In today's feedback, or mailbag, let's say, a uh, question about the Colorado River water storage. How is that forecast looking? I'll have that at the tail end of this video. Here's a look at this week. As we look at most of that precip, it's going to be a wet one across the west and also the east. So two bullseyes, kind of like the last video we did, but worried about the western areas and also off to the east, we'll have some heavy rainfall. So let's go into where the most water is going to fall. That's sections of California. California highlighted in so much of those deeper oranges into the yellows. That's representing four to seven, eight inches, upwards of 10 inches of total water for the next week. That's one week of 10 inches of water. Incredible. And look how widespread that is across California, from Eureka to Mount Shasta, south over Sacramento, Oakland, San Jose, into Monterey, Fresno, Delano, Bakersfield's catching some water. They're going to be in the lower end there in the Central Valley, more like an inch and a half to two, but still valuable water. Santa Barbara will have a wet week, as well as Los Angeles, all the way down into Oceanside and near San Diego. Lots of water to fall. Again, the peak of this total water is going to be about 10 inches for the week. A lot of water. Pacific Northwest, as you travel up the coastline, we still have some high totals here. You get into the Olympics, we're still looking at 5, 7, perhaps 10 inches, but more likely 5 to 7 or so total inches of water. As you look at the Cascades, we're looking at two and a half, threes, four inches of total water into the Great Basin and out toward Utah and Jackson Hole, kind of the Teton and Wasatch Ranges, total water on the way upwards of two inches. So a lot of water. Bottom line is going to fall across the west. We'll talk about snowfall in just a moment. For the east, from Tuscaloosa over Dalton to Knoxville and Asheville, all the way up the east coast, there's going to be a storm system here that spreads in some of this water. We're going to be looking at an inch and a half to two inches of total water and some isolated cases upwards of three inches of total water. Let's watch the animation of when this action is going to be happening. All right, so as we take a look at the week ahead, there's going to be a couple of storm systems. And as this animation restarts, you'll see a couple of these storms right in here. Kind of popping up one, and that goes toward the Great Lakes. And number two pops up over the Rockies, heads down to the south, dives a little deeper, and throws a lot more water. Uh, rainfall, wintry precip, and snowfall toward the mid-Atlantic, down to the southeast, and into New England. The big focus of the constant kind of rainfall and snowfall is going to be here out across the west. So again, during the course of the next week, there are a couple of systems that form. Again, one is northern plains, heads toward the Great Lakes, and another is going to be in the Rockies, passing over Colorado, and then heading east as an impactor for the east. And although, the biggest activity remains across the west. So really, we're talking only about a couple of storm systems overall. In terms of snowfall, let's just focus on the next three days. Those long-term snowfall projections, trust your source on that. You get too far out and it just gets hokey. So let's worry about the next three days as far as snow on the way. It's all going to be out to the west. So let's fly into California here. And here's the Sierras. And look at some of these blacks into the yellow ranges. That's 42 to 48 inches. That's just three days. That's through the morning of the 11th. Four feet of snowfall. Very heavy, heavy wet snowfall at that, kind of the concrete style. Wasatch Range from Provo, Salt Lake City, Logan, just east of there, all the way up into the Tetons. We're looking at more like eights, maybe some tens on the higher range. So again, the west has all the water. Most of the Sierras are holding on to all that snowfall. And then as you look downstream, past the Great Basin, get into the next few mountain ranges, snowfall totals will be limited. For Colorado, we have a chance of snowfall of our own. Tuesday and Wednesday may impact Denver. More on that now at weather5280.com. Let's take a look at the hazards on the way for next week. And again, the daily shower is meant to bring you the heads up, the headlines you may need to watch out for. Heaviest precipitation areas from 
January 14th through the 20th will be again out to the west, mostly California, but through the Great Basin down into the southwest near Phoenix. That's going to be the heaviest total precip area. Not to say there won't be rain elsewhere, it's just the heaviest, most impactful. As far as impactful snowfall areas, from the 14th to the 19th, a great portion here of the west. The Rockies, the Cascades, the Sierras, the Great Basin, all of which may have some very heavy snowfall, again, from the 14th to the 19th or so, as well as the mid-Atlantic states into the New England states, we may have a slight risk of heavy snowfall there, the 14th and 15th. So that's a heads up on snowfall. What are their impacts? Wind. We may see a wide swath of some strong winds, if not potentially damaging winds, that stretch out into New Mexico and Colorado. That would be the 14th through the 19th. All right, what about that water supply? Get to that question that was left, feedback question. Basically, the question was, where do we stand for the Colorado River as far as a water supply? Has there been a benefit? And yes, there has been. This image here shows reservoir storage as of the 8th of January. And by and large, most of the reservoirs that catch your attention are the yellows and oranges, and they are well below average in terms of total water being held right now, especially mead. Uh, out there by Las Vegas, less than 25% of the average water is being contained right now. What are we adding to that by building up the snow pack so far this season? Change the maps and the triangles now represent kind of the snowfall turning into a water supply forecast. What's the runoff outlook, the stream flow outlook? Well, for most of Colorado from the central and southwest, not a huge benefit. There's not a big snowpack there. But as you look from the Wasatch Range and the northwestern Rockies of Colorado, you start to see those blue triangles, which represent a higher than normal, more water should be flowing into the streams and then eventually downstream. So yes, there is a benefit recently, but California, the Sierras, are holding on to most of the water and most of the snow. And that water does not contribute to the Colorado River Basin. So from a Colorado River Basin standpoint, yes, there is some hope. We are seeing encouraging stream flow forecasts. However, reservoirs are so low now. What's it going to take to build that up and how long can it last? Those are questions we'll answer as we go throughout this snowpack season and see where we kind of end up early April, early May. That'll be very telling and what the Colorado River system will be like through the summer and into next year. That's today's daily shower with a little bit of feedback included. Matt Makins here. Hope it finds you well. Have a great week ahead.